If I were to describe South LA as a person, I would say that it's very loud and very full of life and also comical. Los Angeles, more specifically South LA, means a lot to me. It's a community where I grew up. I think it's great that I'm making films within my own community. When I pitched it originally was my version of a love letter to Los Angeles but a Los Angeles that's very particular to me, that show areas where I grew up in. It's one that's not very depicted on television or film, and I hope that it showcases the beauty, but also the great people who live there. Zora's Last Day on Earth is a short film about two best friends who decide to spend their last day together in the community that they love. I decided to interpret my film to really focus in on a journey of friendship. It really centers around this older woman who decides to live her last particular moments on Earth as a younger person and the journey that she takes with her best friend. It's not a conventional story in the sense of like, they're not going to the Hollywood sign, they're not going to Santa Monica, they're going to places that are very close to them. So overall, friendship and just community are at the core and center of my particular film. Action! The writing process was very much influenced by the workshop that we had with the other filmmakers to try to amplify the work that I created. But also I drew from conversations that I feel people would have in my community. In crafting this character with my production designer, Jackie, we came to an agreement that our character was spiritual. Not necessarily religious, but just kind of thinking life beyond this world, I guess in the more sci-fi sense. We were trying to incorporate images that represented that and just her as a particular character. The way that I would describe myself as a writer-director is one that is very collaborative. I love working with my particular crew, but also with my actors and trying to figure out what is the best story to tell, but also to figure out what's the most authentic way to say it. This project is very grounded sci-fi, but even within that, I felt there was moments where connection within our actors, but also our crew could mesh very well. Working with a larger crew, it's great because there's a lot of people who are there to support. We were able to funnel communication very smoothly by communicating through our key department people. Everyone worked well together. My collaboration with Miguel, it's honestly been very smooth. If something's not working for the production, then he's super open to talking about it and figuring out how we can make the story work. He's very open to ideas. That's what I really respect about him. The post-production process has been enlightening for me as a writer and a director of this piece. I knew that sound, but also color, was going to play such a pivotal role in my film. Keeping true to our actors' skin tones, but also trying to amplify the colors and playing with black and how that looks and trying to match that, but also give it a dreamlike quality was something that was fascinating. I had conversations with Noel before about the sound of the film and how we wanted it to be grounded and figuring out how we could amplify the sound through the MOS mix. I did take my time on it, trying to figure out the story. Ambience was my main thing. Bring the character to a happy moment as she's starting young for one day. Of course, it's in LA, so we hear traffic, a lot of sirens. It's a big city, 
So I did try to figure out how I could make the story come to life. I am hoping to really amplify the particular sounds of Los Angeles. Bring in the realism to the film and just try to amplify it through Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. Looking back at my particular crew, I was just, number one, amazed. These are all people who decided to take time out of their day to help me make my film. But also knowing that each of them did play a huge role, making sure that everything came out to show our particular community in the best light. Crew members and my friends, the people from my community, to Dolby in general, I just think it's very inspiring, but I'm also very grateful because I know that it takes a, a lot of people to make a short film. So many people have stepped up to really help support me. Our project was very ambitious and just a lot of running around trying to figure out how we were going to accomplish particular tasks. And now I'm able to look back and just be in awe of the people that I collaborated with to make this project happen.